What's up guys? Justin here with the renderingessentials.com back with another twin motion tutorial for you. So if you remember a couple weeks ago, I made a video about a new um, beta plugin that they've released, which allows you to take your renderings from Twinmotion to Unreal Engine. Well, I thought I'd make a video kind of walking you through following the instructions so that you can export your first file so that you can test it out. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first things first, you can find this importer in the Unreal Engine Marketplace. I will link to this in the notes down below, but if you click on this button for external link, it's gonna take you to a folder where you can download some different things. So it's gonna take you to a folder where you can download the public beta plugins folder, as well as some instructions on how this should work. And so we're basically just gonna follow these instructions in this video, kind of see what we can do with this. So we're gonna scroll down, so it gives you kind of an overview, but where we wanna start, is make sure that you have the newest versions of Unreal Engine and Twinmotion, and you wanna download these plugins from this location right here, specifically these three. And then what it wants you to do is it wants you to take those files or folders, and it wants you to copy them from the Twinmotion folder right here over into your Unreal Engine plugins folder. And so when you're done, that's gonna look something like this. You're gonna have your Unreal Engine folder with the version that you're using. Inside of Engine, you're gonna go into Plugins. You're gonna make a folder called Twinmotion, and you're gonna put these three files inside of that folder. So you're gonna to wanna to do all of that before you open up Unreal Engine. All right, so next step is we need to open up Unreal Engine and enable the plugins. So inside of Unreal Engine, we're gonna create a new project. So I'm gonna go with this uh, AEC right here. Click on next and we'll just go with blank for right now. I don't really want it to drop all this extra stuff in here. So we're just gonna create a blank project and we'll just call this twin motion test. And then you can set this up with ray tracing enabled or disabled. I'm leaving it as disabled just cause we're not gonna do a lot of high quality rendering in this. This is more an example file. And I'm gonna say no starter content just to reduce the size of the project it creates. But then I'm gonna click on the button for create project. That is going to pop up an Unreal Engine window where we can then enable the plugins. All right, so next step, we wanna manage our plugins. So we're gonna turn this plugin on. So we're gonna to go to settings, plugins. And if you put those in the folder, they should show up down below. So I'm just gonna type in twin motion. And we wanna check the box for all three of these. Notice how this says this is a beta version. So we're gonna enable this, enable this, enable this. And then we're gonna click on restart now because you have to restart the editor for these changes to take effect. All right, so now that this is set up, what we wanna do is we wanna import a scene. And so now that that plugin is turned on, what we wanna do is we wanna use the option for Datasmith. So I'm gonna click on Datasmith right here, and then we're gonna go find a file to bring in. And we'll go ahead and use the file that they're talking about, which is the materials room that's in here. Um, the materials room is the default example file that comes with Twinmotion. So we're just gonna go find Twinmotion real quick. And within Twin Motion, there's a Twin Motion folder with content. And we'll just go to Demo Scenes. And so we're just going to bring in this Materials Room file. So we're just going to double click to bring that in. And it's going to ask us where to put this. And so I'm just going to put this in the Collections folder and click on OK. And so what this is going to do is this is going to give us the standard Datasmith import options. These are the options that Datasmith or that Twinmotion gives us for things that we can import. So you can see how you can import the geometry, the materials, lights, cameras, and animations, as well as some other options down here, which I'm not really going to mess with for right now. But what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna click on the button for import. All right, so one thing that you're gonna know is you're gonna get a log when you bring this in of things that aren't supported. And remember, if we scroll down to the bottom of this page like this, notice how there are a lot of things that aren't supported yet. So they talk about that, I think it's a ways down here. 
So things like skeletal meshes and vehicles are not currently working. Um, so there's some things that just won't come in yet. Remember this is in beta, so that's kind of to be expected. Um, read through this if you have any questions about what's working and what isn't. But let's go ahead, let's close out of this, and let's take a look at what we've got. So um, I'm going to move forward with the W key and we're just gonna fly into this building kind of take a look so and notice how by the way this uh, this materials room file now shows up in my collections which is where I told it to put this so the materials themselves for the materials room have all been brought in and set up which we can take a little bit more of a look at in a second but let's go ahead and just fly into this building take a look so you can see how these materials have been brought in and they're actually showing up really in a realistic way so the cool thing about this is let's take a look at let's take a look at this object right here so I'm gonna click on it and then over here we can take a look at this material so if I double click on this material this is gonna open the materials editor so it's already set up things like the normal map that have been set up inside of twin motion. So that's one thing that's really cool about this is you don't have to go through and set up your materials, which can be super time consuming inside of Unreal Engine. Instead, this just did this automatically. And notice how it's like interacting with the light, other things like that. So what this is doing is this is basically bringing these in and setting them up without you having to do any of the complicated node setup or anything like that. So notice how there were, if I was to click into that again, some folders in here where you could apply like a roughness map or a metallic map. So if you wanna add additional maps in here, so once this is set up, this menu is gonna allow you to do that. So you could just check the box for roughness map, and then you could go find a file and you would have to probably um, upload the file into the content folder, but um, you could load a file in here to add additional information to this asset. And so let's take a look real quick at the outliner over here. So the outliner, you can see, shows us what objects have been brought in and where they're at. So we can take a little bit closer look at this, but you can see how these are all being brought in as actors and static mesh actors. So that's basically just the way that um, Unreal Engine looks at objects. So we can talk about that more in the future, but for right now, I wanna focus more on the results that we're getting. So uh, the really cool thing about this is you could go through, and this basically makes it so people who don't have a bunch of technical knowledge can set things up inside of twin motion and then bring them into unreal engine for um, rendering where you get access to more of the advanced features again notice how some of the like cars and other things like that are not yet supported all right so now and we can talk a little bit more about actually creating scene but i think it probably makes sense for me to get back into that now that we have this way of bringing things in a little bit easier but let's say for example that we've got our objects in here and we want to like swap out materials and stuff you can now fully edit these inside of Unreal Engine. So for example, if I was to select this grass in here, you could take one of these materials from your materials room objects or options, you could drag it over into the materials and replace that and render it into Unreal Engine. But the real power of this now, being able to bring these in, and notice again that there are things that aren't working right now. But the real power of this is you can actually use Unreal Engine's functions in order to um, make a better rendering. So for example, one of the things in Twin Motion that currently isn't working is you can't add an HDRI backdrop. Well, you could bring in your Twin Motion file, drag that HDRI backdrop in here. So we're just gonna bring that in, move it down a little bit. And that backdrop is now in here, but I could turn my sun off, so my artificial sun right here, and then I could brighten up my HDRI backdrop just by coming into my settings and adjusting the intensity up. But you can see how now we're getting a much more realistic lighting result in here because we can use that HDRI backdrop and we could swap that out. So what this does, this is, this gives us access to some of the additional features inside of Unreal Engine that aren't in twin motion. So if you have a scene that you need to take the next level, but you don't wanna spend a ton of time setting up all these materials, you can do that with this plugin.
So for now, download this and give it a try and then let me know what you think. Remember that it is in beta, so not everything is going to be working, but I think this goes a long way towards what we've been waiting for, which is the ability to use twin motion to kind of set up a scene because it's a lot easier and faster and then take it into Unreal Engine to do some advanced things. Now, I haven't quite figured out because there are some advanced things you need to know about Unreal Engine in order to be able to create those final scenes. So that may be something we talk through a little bit more on the channel of some of the settings, but I'm excited to see where this goes and I'm excited to hear what you guys think about this. So if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.